I don't I don't know if you can hear that uh that noise in the background. I'm just testing this to see if, if it's if it's there, if you can hear it. Uh I mean you can kinda hear the noise in the background, so I'll just record it in my room today. Hey guys, today we're gonna to be reviewing the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Sun and Moon Funko Pop, the Hot Topic Exclusive. Now, um I I Ever, ever since I saw this pop, I was genuinely like really impressed with it, and I, and uh, I, I didn't think Funko would ever make something as cool as this. But uh, here we are. We have something as cool as Sun and Moon combined. So yeah, we're going to review that today. Um. So yeah, as you can see, um, the front of the box is very uh, generic. Uh, they didn't really do anything that special for it. It says Pop Games right there, of course, with uh, Sun and Moon slash Eclipse, whatever you want to call it at the front. Sun and Moon right there, the Hot Topic exclusive, so you can only find it at Hot Topic. Uh, I, was at, I was at Winchester um, this weekend, so um, yeah, and I, and I went to a mall and I found this at a Hot Topic, of course, and um, yeah, so maybe go down to your local Hot Topic and it might be there. So. Um, yeah, as you can see, barely at the front, it's just like the generic Funko uh, Security Breach background they use in all their Security Breach merch. Oh, nothing special on the back, you see uh, Sun right there. I mean, Sun and Moon right there, and then up there. Um, so their 919th video game pop, I thought they would have made more, but whatever. Then see them, you see them right there. Mm. Uh, 19, uh, 919 is how many pops they made in this category, right? I think so. But, uh, yeah, so it's Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach back here. Um, I hope they make more Security Breach, Security Breach, uh, characters. It's like, um, this, this is a cool pop, but I think they should do more Security Breach pops, like, you know, Glamrock animatronics. It's like, it's like making, like, I don't know. The, it's like giving the Butcher Gang from Bendy and the Ink Machine merchandise, but not any of the other characters, you know what I mean? Like, like, a, like popular characters? Okay, well, I don't know if they're really popular, but like, Sammy Lawrence, you could give him a Funko Pop. Not any of the others. Whatever. You get what I mean, so I hope they do more. We're probably gonna do more in the future, but... Yeah. Um... So yeah, here's... Here it is. Let's take it out of the box. I got him out of the box. I think it's interesting if I point out, uh... He was, he was like this, but then like his stand was like right up here. I don't know if it's supposed to be right there, but I don't think there's any place for the stand to be at the bottom. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. So no, I don't think there's really any like place for it at the bottom here, so. I guess it makes sense for it to be at the top, but I don't know why they didn't make a space right at the bottom. So here is the pop, and I gotta say, this is probably one of the best Five Nights at Freddy's pops Funko has ever made. Like, holy cow. Um, let's start, let's start with the body. The body is like, is really, really good. Like, I don't really think I have any problems with it. It's just, uh, it's just like half sun, of course, and then half moon right there. Um, don't really know what else to say. I don't think this part of moon is like as dark as they, uh, as it is right here. Sorry if you can hear, uh, voices outside, whatever. Um, yeah, you can see, uh, he's got, he's got a little jingle bell, it looks nice, turned around, he's got a little hook on his back. I really have no problem with the body, the body looks really good, so we'll move on to the head. Um, okay, I'll be honest, I don't really like the head that much, I just don't think the, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, it doesn't ruin the pop completely, I just think it's, it's, it's weird how, um, Sun and Moon have, or like, the pop has, uh, like a square microwave shaped head when uh he's supposed to have like a um like a circular head but um that's just how funko pops uh this is how funko pop styles are um so like the humanoid ones of course most of the snap ones aren't like that because because you know they have they have normal heads and they'll they'll look really really weird with square heads so yeah, you see why for the FNAF one they didn't want to do square heads. Whatever. Uh, um, another problem I have, it's not as big, but, um, the, the, uh, the wires at the back look big, but, I mean, look big, what? 
Wires on the back look good, but they just need to be further back on the uh, on the head. They're supposed to be like like right behind the mask, but if like the mask continues on, like like it's a whole like it's a full um head mask. If that makes sense, like how Funko did the uh, the Ennard plush. It's not just a face mask. It just goes around the entire head. Um, that is like place that there they're that they are on there lazily but you don't really see the back of him that much so it's really no big deal but other than that i don't really see any nitpicks with this um as you can see in this side on this side he is part sun with like the uh the sun rays sticking out and on this side he's like completely dark with his eye right there and uh with his hat dangling down um it's like moon's hat dangling down um got the big old smile right there half of it is uh this black well not really half of it but you know part of it is black because uh because it's moon um and yeah i guess you could call this eclipse but eclipse is more like ruined and stuff uh yeah more wizard and, and torn apart and rotten um i hope they do a another pop like this or they use the same mold but they make it the eclipse version the uh the uh, one from the, from uh, Ruin, you know, uh, they uh, believe it or not, they actually made uh, exclusive versions of exclusive of exclusive Funko Pops. Uh, they did a glow in the dark version of the warmer exclusive Toy Freddy, a um, a flocked version of the GameStop exclusive Toy Fun Time Foxy. So um, I could see them doing a normal Eclipse, or not what, uh, just uh, Eclipse from the Ruin DLC kind of like this but like you know rotten um and i hope they do uh run separately too just just a normal pop of uh sun and a normal pop of moon if they ever do the normal security beach characters and uh yeah overall pretty solid pop i'd give it like an 8.5 out of 10 um i don't think i don't think i would have given it a, a 9 out of 10 or anything like that because the head like kind of bothers me it just looks weird um but other than that very very good pop and if you see them in, if you see it at hot topic uh you could definitely pick it up it's definitely worth it all right so um on my community post tab uh i did ask you guys what video you wanted to see next and you guys chose um uh, reviewing an old fnaf merch wave i'm not going to say what wave i'm going to do yes it yet it is coming probably like um, uh, in this upcoming week, like, like, Wednesday or Thursday, something like that, um, but it is, but it is coming, uh, I was going to do it, um, on Friday, but I completely forgot we had to go to our Winchester trip, and then I was going to do it when I got back, but I found this guy, so I decided to make a review on him instead, so, yeah, uh, reviewing old, old plush wave coming soon, I don't know if I said reviewing old Funko Pop wave earlier, but if I did, I'm sorry, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, if you guys enjoyed, uh, be sure to, be sure to like and subscribe, and, uh, comment down below what you think of this pop, I, you, you guys already know anything about this pop, I'm not gonna talk anymore, alright, so thanks for watching, and goodbye! <laughs>